Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off we were hanging out in here and things expanded a little bit and we have access to some more areas to go to now. Uh, I think I'm probably going to do all four of these and then I think that might be it for this dungeon. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get in here. Go to the, what was this, the memoirs or memories of turquoise? What was that? See what we got in here. Um, also something uh, someone did mention, you can't actually recruit the class like uh, Kraken and stuff like that, unfortunately. It would have been cool to have one, but it uh, doesn't look like there's anything super crazy going on in this particular level. What is this? Agonal Scream. Pure Anguish is a chance to frighten. That seems pretty cool, but uh, yeah, they don't have anything too wild. So I'll just take these dorks out really quickly. All right, that should be it. <clears throat> cool. So uh, basically the only thing I really changed about my party for that one is uh, while Canopus isn't super good with guns, um, I actually put the crossbow thing back on him so he could at least use his finishing blows for something. I do sort of have an idea for Azelstan. I'm kind of interested in just turning Azelstan into a dual sword wielder. And there we go, Canopus has level 10 with fusils now. I, I'm kind of interested in doing that. The only problem is I don't think I have another sword right now. But uh, I do like the idea of doing that. Because, yeah, the, the, the fusil in the offhand is neat. But uh, I can't help but feel like I would do a little bit more damage if you were just using two swords. Um, unfortunately, I don't have another sword to give you at the moment, so you are just going to have to stick with that. But uh, it's something to think about, I believe. So... You know, it's 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 there. It's something. So we could we could take off fusils completely, and then you could put on like I don't know, pincer attack, or well, probably double attack, and then you could just run in and be super quick and just murder people. So I think it could be kind of cool. Just have you be like, you know, a pirate double attacker. It's cool that ninjas aren't the only class that's limited to uh, double attacking in this game. But uh, nothing really happened in that battle. I, I picked up a strength card on Uhuk, but that's kind of the only thing of note. Um, everything else was it, was, it was a generic battle, it sure was. So let's see what we got here. I have all the slots I can get. Um, there's the Kraken right there. People said I can't recruit, um, but I'll try it just in case. I mean, I definitely believe people, but um, things have changed in the game. So I don't know, I'll give it a shot, maybe something what? Maybe they maybe they made it so you could recruit them in this game. I don't, I don't know. I'll give it a shot just to be sure. So, but yeah, it doesn't really look like anything super interesting going on here. We have some whites and stuff to deal with, and all of this. So, the incubuses look like they're the palette swap of the just like weird demon familiars. So that's kind of interesting. I want one of these dorks. They seem cool. Uh, fun fact: um, I started the battle without putting RSL in to even try to recruit the Kraken. Um, and now there's a new one here. A Dagon, which is very, how very, how very, uh, Lovecraftian slash cosmic horror of you. Interesting. You, you are interesting. Like I said, uh, I, I forgot to put RSL in, so I am actually going to put RSL in this time and see if, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can recruit them some wild reason or something. I'll, I'll give it a shot, just, just to confirm, so. Also, RSL needs to level up a little bit, so, alrighty, let's hop in. Okay, yeah, just to confirm, you cannot recruit either of them. Uh, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to be sure, since ver things have changed in this version of the game. I do want to point out the incredibly disturbing, like, this is the most obvious palette swat swap I've ever seen. They just were straight up like, okay, let's open that in the video, in a photo editor, and just throw a splash of yellow on that. Beautiful, beautiful, moi. Like, <laughs> it just has a yellow filter on it. It's kind of crazy. You're supposed to be a banshee, which is weird. I mean, they, they clearly did that with the other ones, but it's just... It's so obvious with that one. Because, like... I, I feel like for the different versions of the octopus, at least, like, their tentacles are different colors and things. But here, it's all just one color. It looks disturbing and weird. I mean, I guess you can see it on the, uh... On the incubus as well. Um, when they were on that other one, they're just very blue. And the white is clearly just very blue as well. You can tell some of these palette swaps they spent more time on than others, I feel. Ugh, that fight was probably a little bit closer than it needed to be, but their magic was messing me up. 
I mean, I have Evade on, uh, on, uh, Azelstan, but they were messing me up with their magic because, like, all of them used magic as well as weapons. God, it was annoying. So, made that a little bit more painful on myself than it needed to be. Would have been a little bit easier if I had put in, um, Sestina. But, I wanted to use RSL because she needed to level up anyway, but... Quite honestly, I might just take RSL off of, uh, that class and put her on a different one. Um... She could be interesting as, like, a Fusilier or something. Uh... I don't know, maybe? That would kind of defeat the purpose, though, because you're not that much different from, uh... Lindel here. So... Eh, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, on to the next area. Bosom of the Sea God. What do we got in here? What sort of hell awaits me? Just, uh, oh hey, the palette swap for these idiots. What are you, a revenant? A wraith. Cool. You also have the draconic magic. Ice over. Um, and we're dealing with two more of these banshees. Okay, there's actually a lot of enemies here. Two dragons. Okay, so Sestina's in. Well, let's, uh, go ahead and formulate a strategy here. Uh, I should mention something interesting I did in preparation for this battle. This is also who all I have in. Um, the MP drain wasn't super useful in Denim, but Denim can put on my spare Resurrect, just in case that's ever needed. So, that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't really have anything else to put there, so I might as well. Because, yeah, that MP drain was, uh, poopy. God, this white class is so annoying because they have the Terror Knight abilities like Lament of the Dead, but they also have magic. It's obnoxious. I hate it. Alright, that's another battle down. That one was way smoother than the last one. We didn't really get much for it, but uh, it was pretty smooth. These are still just generic fights. Um, I think something interesting is supposed to happen in this dungeon at some point. At least I'm leveling up, so we got that going for us. Alright, oh my god, it's still going. It's still going. I think uh, it's safe to assume at this point I'm probably gonna skip the crumbling garden. Um, oh, because we got, we got two more areas to go over here. One of these has to be the end. I hope. God, I've spent like four hours just in this one dungeon. Jeez. Alright, what do we got? More Dagons and... Oh god, all of the annoying enemies. All of the annoying enemies is what we're dealing with here. Okay, and I can only have eight enemies in this battle too. Well, this is not going to be fun. Oh, okay, that's another one down. That one wasn't so bad. Um, I did put Exorcism uh, on Denim just to make clearing out the undead a little bit easier there. But, whew. oh my god, this video is at an hour and 19 mo uh, minutes. These videos take so long to get a good amount of actual video. It's so much of my day, just Tactics Ogre. Especially since we're dealing with all these late game dungeons now, my god. Into the darkness and on holy ground. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do Crumbling Garden, because I'm, I'm guessing there's just... That's probably just another path I could have taken, so it's probably just another generic level with enemies, but... These two will... Yes, thank you. Deep as it goes. Thank you. Ah, the welcoming party's arrived. Oh, defiles our sacred ground. God, at least there's something, finally, more than just generic enemies. Sacred ground? Uh, what's this? Feel a draft from up ahead. Something beyond here, isn't there? <sighs> Might be. Leave. Leave here at once. Rackham. Leave, or we will take your lives as penalty for your trespass. Azelstan, it's you. It's a trick. Not very clever, though. This is one face that won't come back to haunt me! Interesting. Vanquish the enemy leader. Win with the Dragoon in the battle party. Obtain a buff card. Okay, this is different. We have 12 slots for this battle. 
Um, the spirit of a dead sailor lingering in the depths of the pirate's graveyard. As long as they still yearn for something of their former lives, they will never be free. Okay, and yeah, it's just a bunch of undead. Really, it's gonna make me put a dragoon in for- oh, okay, there is a- there's an octopus hiding over here, too. Okay, well, at least this is, like, kind of a unique battle, I suppose. Alrighty, so, Sestina, you're definitely, definitely in. I seriously don't have another sword. Like, it, just one more sword. I don't have it on anyone. Okay, so, uh, most of the enemies in this battle are water. So, I have as much lightning in as I could possibly get. I considered turning RSL into a Fusilier, but... I only have one gun, and it's not a musket, so I'm like, eh. But one uh, change I did make, um, I put Lament of the Dead on Denim, because Preempt is nice, but I don't feel like it's as nice as this could be. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll just try some things out, you know. Um, so there's that. Um, of course, Sestina is in. I made another change to someone else. Oh, yeah. Uh, on these two dorks, my two healers, uh, I took off Insight to put on Sanctuary since we're dealing with undead in this, uh, fight, so it would stop some of the melee undead units from walking up on me, basically, so might make things a little bit easier. Let's also take out Gildas and put in Murden instead, so. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hop in here, so I imagine I'm just gonna be able to rush the boss here, and I'm probably gonna want to do so. Um, considering they're like a squishy... Well, not squishy, but... Uh, they only have 1200 HP, and most of the enemies in this fight are undead, so... It would probably be in my best interest to just kind of rush the boss. Or just pick them off with, uh, ranged attacks. Uh, either one, you know. So, that's probably what we're gonna work on- Oh, there's another octopus right there! Really? There's three? I didn't even see that one. They were... hidden. They were hiding from me. Oh my god. How oh, interesting. Uh, alright, well, let's just, uh... Keep walking. Denim, go ahead and stab Lycomedas there. Surprised these aren't Dagons or, uh... Krakens. Interesting. They're just regular old octopi. Okay. I mean, you're not gonna hear me complaining. Alright, Sustina, get in there and stab. This is kind of your battle since you're since I have you set to lightning and all that jazz. All right, yeah, we're definitely just gonna run at the boss and kill them because having to exercise all of the enemies to get their drops is just such a pain, and I never want to do it. Of course, we can kill the uh, octopi and get their stuff, but the other enemies, no. So, Canopus, I'm definitely gonna want you to get in there and shoot. Beautiful. Ganapus is actually getting a uh, pretty high level with uh, the guns, which is nice. All right, Rock'em, are you gonna come or what? Sorry, I've heard that name in something else before. Was that the? I. What am I thinking of? I wanted to say the whale in Skies of Arcadia. That um, the pirate uh, dude is going after, whose name I'm forgetting. But, I don't think that's it. It might be. I want to say the whale's name was... was... Rock'em? Maybe I'm wrong, though. I'm probably wrong. But, you know. Uh... Anything interesting? Ooh, I can shoot Ellen. Here you go. I actually did pretty okay damage as well. And you can get in here and smack this octopi around. It's probably gonna be my Fusilier... and, uh... Canopus that gets in there. I really just want to get double attack on Azelstan and just have him wield, uh, dual wield swords because it seems really, really powerful. It seems really powerful. I know holding a pistol and using a weapon in the uh, and using like a blade in the other hand is very piratey, but I feel like the double attack is just stronger than just having an emergency pistol. If they had, um, like the, uh, Oh my god. If they had the uh, the quick draw on this class, it, it would be better, I feel. Um, but yeah, that's only on the Fusiliers. And on the Fusilier, obviously, I want to use the muskets, so. Yeah, no. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do that. 
Meditate on Sherry. Nothing really interesting for you to hit. Uh, Vulcan Lance. Uh, just hit that. Hit Ethelred. Like I said, I'm just I'm just rushing to the boss as quickly as I can and taking them out. I will probably get messed up by these uh, by these ghosts doing this though. I'm a little bit intimidated by all of the uh, the VVs flying around here. Um, me over here, Canopus. Beautiful. And nothing really interesting to shoot right there. I mean, I could shoot that. Shoot to Ismenia. There we go, good crit. Hitting us with the Eagle Eye. Ow. Yeah, and of course I'll be sending uh, Latinos in to uh, shoot the boss as well. And you have Quick Draw active. Or a little slow, but. Can't shoot you. Can shoot Ethelred. Boom. And then, yeah, we do have Sharpshoot as well. I gotta keep that in mind. Alrighty, just continue to chop some uh, some legs off of this thing. Okay, finally, you're moving up. Good, that's what I want. The closer you get to me, the easier it'll be to kill you. It doesn't really seem like it's super defensive, so... I think we'll be fine for the most part. There's the Beast Bane. Love to see that. And let's go ahead and hit the Beast Slayer. And this will probably kill. Yep. Good kill. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Int. I mean, sure, take a Denim. You shoot magic occasionally. Why the hell not? Go ahead and Sanguine Assault. And do this. I was considering changing Denim, uh, to like, to a ranger, and then back to, um, the, uh, lord class, just so Denim could use the, uh, the muskets from the ranger class. Basically gain the ability to use those, but I don't think it's super worth it. Um, I like double attacking with Denim, so I think this is just a better call. I'm gonna find someone good to attack here. There we go, that's more like it. There we are. Beautiful. And you. You fly over here. How much can we do with one of these? Two damage. Can't do pretty good damage to the other two, though. Just can't do a lot of damage to the boss. The boss is actually quite tanky. Not what I like to see. Good stun. Uh -huh. Uh... Go ahead and smack him with that. And then do I have pincer on you now, Merton? I do. Yes. So glad I put that on you. That's wonderful. Okay, who's hurting the most? Uh, Fusilier. Here you go, Lindel. Enjoy that. Aqua bubble. Aqua bubble. The dirty bubble. God, I hate poison rain so much. Love it when I use it. Hate it when it's used against me. It's absolute pain. Killing this boss is going to uh, take a minute. Hopefully my other characters that are running up there can do a little bit more damage, but these uh, Octopi are messing us up with that stupid rain. Uh, over there. Okay, how much can you do? Cannabis, 84, my god. God, this idiot's tanky. Sink to Slayer? Yep, 43. Yeah, we're just... We're not doing a lot of damage to this asshole. Okay, well then. Um... Shoot Gilda in the bit. Oh, I... I didn't realize I wasn't, uh... Doing that right. Well, let's, uh... Chariot Terra back there and do something else. Um... So... Yeah, right here, and then let's shoot you in the back of the head. Shoot this ghost with the gun. Hope that thing has silver bullets. I mean, we are getting messed up. We're making progress towards the boss, though, but... Gods, do they have a lot of HP. 
and they're very tanky. I need, like, denim to get down there. Oh, man, they have risk management, too. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. That's actually an interesting idea. Having risk management on a character and making them absurdly tanky, so when the damage gets spread around, it's, like, barely anything, anyway. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and just hit you dorks with one of these. There we go. That's pretty good damage. I can do the same sort of shit that you do with that rain, too. It's just wind instead, and it doesn't poison, which is not nearly as effective. There we go. God, that risk management's gonna be so annoying. Well, we're just gonna have to deal. Uh, I think this octopus is probably gonna die from the poison. See if I can put someone to sleep. Like Aylmer here. Nope. Did pretty good damage, though. Go ahead and heal up. That looks good to me. That skeleton's getting up soon. Don't like that. Uh. Let's see here. Do I really have anyone I need to heal? Definitely Sherry. All right, Sherry, you enjoy that. It's getting pretty late already. Been recording Tactic Circuit for so long, the time does just fly by, though. There we are. Azelstan, get in there. Is this octopi gonna die, or... You know what, let's just make sure. I'm pretty sure the poison was gonna kill it, but I don't want it to get another poison rain off, so... Gonna play it a little bit safe there. Thing. Good, good, good. Ah, Sestina, you can't reach. Oh, that blows. We'll grab one of these, and... What should this do? 539? Not worth it, I don't think. Okay, we're slowly but surely making our way in here. God, I don't even have a high chance of hitting you. Okay, we can take out Burnden, though. There we go, just kill you. This boss is very tanky. Don't like it one bit, I don't. Um, Howling Rage? Ooh, 400? Or 549 to kill another enemy. Hmm. Only 80% chance to hit, but... There we go. That's just another one crossed off the list there. Good. Here comes the avalanche. I'm surprised you didn't kill uh, Latinos there. I'm sure one of you are. Right? No? Still no? God, all this magic in this dungeon. That's the, that's the worst part. Just the absurd amount of magic that we have to deal with. Their mages are just eating me up. Live. I'm just gonna leave this stupid idiot over here. He can't really do anything from that position anyway. So let's just get in here and start killing some more. There we go. Alright, what are you doing? More risk management? Ow. Canopus. Um. Yeah, you can kill some more. Uh, how much will you do with that? Just enough to kill Gilda there. Alright, they're- they're dropping like flies. We're getting there. Uh, do you have- no. Can you petrify? No, well, I was hoping, but no. Alright, Latinos has a turn here. Uh... That's worthless. Uh, just fly over here, and how about a Blood Siphon on one of these? Sure. Give me that HP, please. Alright, can you get in there and just Beast Bane? Oh my god, the movement. No, you can't. You can't do this, though. And that is very, very much worth it. There we go. Oh, uh, we need to still this idiot. 
Okay, Latinos is down, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to heal some more people up, I think. Yep. At least most of the enemies are almost dead now, so we can just focus on the boss. There's that stupid poison rain. Oh my god, I hate that move. The range on it is enormous. Okay, well... Lind will have to stay down. We need to exercise. Lindel. Okay. God, yeah, the worst part about this dungeon is all of the enemies use magic. It's so annoying. You're just constantly getting pelted by rain and rocks and fire and every other kind of shit they can think to throw at you. Um... Let's see here. Physical up on you. Now, what could you do with that? Not much. Um, could kill Ellen. Tournament. Guess we'll just mirage strike Ellen back there. There we go. As long as there's just less enemies fighting me, that'll help out a ton. But this this asshole is tanky. My God. There we go. Chance to stun. Oh, but you still have that stupid risk management up. Yeah, as long as there's enemies alive, this stupid bastard isn't gonna go down. Oh well, hit this stupid thing. Yeah, as long as long as you have people to help you out. There we go. Good shit. Okay, now we can just focus on you, and you can like kindly just die in a hole. Weaken you. That would be nice. No. Oh yeah, and what are you gonna do, idiot? Meditates. Good stuff. Uh, sure, Sherry. I don't think there's a single position I could have you hit the boss from. Could hit Azul Stand and do damage, sure. Every little bit counts on this asshole. Uh, that's an auto skill card. Not a whole lot of damage to be done here. Just do that. Canopus, you do have enough for one of the cool gun attacks. Rapid Blast. It's not gonna do a ton, however. How about... Nope. Okay, there's not a whole lot of point in Canopus attacking. Guess you could have attacked the ghost, but... There's the risk management again. Ow. But that's fine, because now you're in a better position for us to hit you and stuff. Sustina, good. Alright, so stab, if you could get the poison, oh, that's wonderful. God, I love you, Sustina. And you don't have any units nearby, so you can't do the stupid risk management shit. This AI down here is very stupid. The skeleton that's just kind of chilling here. I don't know what the nine hells they're doing, but it's kind of funny. Um, resurrect. Uh, resurrect Lindel, sure. That looks good to me. Now you can get up and shoot the boss. Should be able to do okay damage. Oh, damn it. Right here, then. You are in range to get hit by the boss this way, but... What in the world? How in the hell are you hitting... There... No? Wow, it goes right past you to hit Denim. God. Jeez, getting this to actually work. God. Gotta be so... far away. That is how muskets work. But jeez. Uh, I can't hit you, the height. The height difference is too much. Okay, hopefully, as long as I can just kill the boss before all these other enemies start getting back up, I'll be happy. Which I think I'm gonna be able to. You hit? Yes. Okay, now we can work with something here. Shadow pin you. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Azelstan. Oh my god, the 
this stupid height difference. Just shoot the- mm, shooting doesn't do anything. Uh, which one's the one getting up? That one. Uh... I don't have anything to stop that anyway, so... Never mind. This thing is just absurdly tanky. Okay, I knocked you back. Uhook might actually be able to kill you now? If he can reach you, that is. And he barely can, so... There we go. Die, you stupid bastard. No, I'll die mad about it, you salty prick. Get out of here. Don't worry, I'll lead you true. Thank you, Azelstan. Azelstan? Come with me, boy. I'll show you what a ghast thinks is worth protecting. Don't worry, I'll lead you true. And then you said Azelstan like you were curious about something with him? And say, come with me, boy. Interesting. Okay, cool. Neato, neato. We got Ancient Wood and a Falx. And I won with a Dragoon in the party and obtained a buff card. Oh, that was a pain in mine ass. Treasure! What is this place? This is their sacred ground. Well, more of a dead end than anything. You see that chest of coins there? Take it. Better than going home empty-handed. This is the treasure. I cannot take this. This is the treasure. I cannot take this. It's someone's sacred ground. I I feel like I wouldn't want to take this, right? I don't want to loot someone's sacred ground. I mean, I did just murder all of them, but... I'm scared of the repercussions of me actually looting their sacred ground. I cannot take this. Or should I... Mm, I don't know. I did, I did fight my way all the way in here, and I would hate to come out of here empty-handed. That was a lot of work to come out of here with nothing. This is the treasure? This is the treasure we've been searching for. Not as much as you were imagining, is it? Truth be told, this chest is more of a grave marker than anything. Like a gravestone? Aye. This here is a place where the souls of pirates who die at sea come to rest. Okay, am I actually going to take it, or am I now going to get an option to be like, no, because... <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to take it, but at the same time, I, I put a lot of- I put two hours of my life into getting through this place. No one mourns them. So they wander until they find their way here. The pirate's graveyard, this. And the swords stuck in the ground around it? Left here by pirates. As proof they lived. Ah, a pirate's life is no glorious affair. And neither's his death. A few managed to come ashore, take a wife, raise a family. But most don't live half so wise. After your first captain and your last crew are gone, there's no one left to remember you. That's why they leave their swords. A nameless grave beats just nameless. If you can't leave your mark in any other way, you leave it here. Thus, a sacred ground, and a treasure worth protecting. Or a desolate cliff strewn about with junk, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Is that why you came? To pay your respects? <laughs> you think my heart beats as warm as that? I have a hard time thinking you came all this way just to reveal the true nature of this treasure. I there was a time when I lost sight of what was ahead. When my daughter died, I couldn't take the battle. So I came here, 
maybe I was eager to join the ones who left these swords. The currents around here are treacherous things. Take your eyes off the sea for a moment, and she'll drag you down. Hmm. From the moment I entered the cave, I didn't pause to rest or think. I just kept walking, deeper and deeper. I knew what this place was as soon as I stepped foot out here. I stood here a while, then went back the same way I'd come in. And everyone's out here trying to... Trying to get a piece of this treasure, you're the only one that ever went in and came back out, and it's just a graveyard, basically, for dead pirates to go into. You just turned around? I did. This here is a place for those who went the full distance. Well, not dead pirates to come into, but people that are thinking they're going to die and want to die as a pirate at the pirate graveyard. Not for one like me, who always runs his flag at half-mast. I left my ship that day. Why? Because I had nothing more to do with it. That's why. I wasn't about to sail headlong into death like the ones here. Or start a new life, either. Dread pirate. I was a coward. Couldn't put his daughter's death behind him. <sighs> but there is something that needs doing. Thanks for reminding me of that. Thank you for your help. Uh, sorry, there's not more for you to take home than this uh, pile of coin. With luck, some of them will be old enough to have taken on a bit of value. Uh, I... I don't know if I'm gonna take it. I don't know if I'm gonna take it. I can get money in other ways. While it would be nice to have money, eh. I can't take this. This coin's not for anyone to use, least of all for war. I'll let it rest. Well, I wasn't expecting that from you. <laughs> Let's return. I'm not meant to be here. We have things yet to do. The real treasure was finding out about your past, Azelstan. And recruiting you, of course. Wait, so are you two, like, actually completely leaving, or...? Okay, you're not. He who treads holy ground. So I can go into the other one over here. I don't know if it's different or has different treasure or something, but... I, I mean, I see no reason to not go over here. As well. Is this just an alternate battle? I thought it was gonna kick me out. Uh, for a second there. Oh god, what in the hell are you? A blood... gavial? A variety of lizardmen with blood-red skin. Its violence is remarkable, even towards its own kind. Well, that sounds horrible. Interesting. So these are, these are just more palette-swapped enemies, huh? I mean... I wonder, do, do I get any cool drops for doing this one or something? This doesn't seem like too wild of a battle here. Of course, this is completely new, even if it is, once again, an incredibly obvious palette swap. You do have Damascus leggings that I would like, but... Hmm. I don't know if I should bother doing it or not. It would be quite another long battle. And I don't know if we... You know, I might as well do it. I might as well do it. Just to make sure we get everything done that we possibly can, so... Alright, everyone. I mean, this is probably the squad I want to go with, so let's just go ahead and hop in and finally wrap this dungeon up. My god. I just realized that the Lament of the Dead didn't go off on Denim at all in that fight. Maybe I should put Fulkerton instead of, like, RSL. RSL's just not really that useful at the moment. Let's put Fulkerton. There we go. Looks good to me. E I do have the correct stuff, yeah. I mean, it's just nothing's changed since the last time we did a battle, so. Alrighty, is this a super boss or something, or is it just a unique enemy for this particular area? It might even not, it might not even be unique. It might just be the really high-level palette swap of, uh, of the reptile. Reptiles, so, um, they might not even be a unique thing. I don't even know if this is a battle I really need to show here. Um... But, 
I mean, if anything interesting happens, I guess I'll I'll show it. But right now, it seems like it's just gonna be another battle. I mostly just want to see if I'll get anything for this. God, these stupid whites with their Lament of the Dead that always goes off. And then they Octopi with their fucking Poison Rain. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. I wish there was like... Maybe there is in the shops now. I, I need to I need to check for it. Like an AoE... Ease, basically. So I don't have to spend all day getting rid of the Terrify on my characters just for them to get it again, basically. It's so annoying. The last octopus just died. Oh my god, as you can see, I am not doing well. I, I, the next time I see an octopus, like an enemy octopus, I may vomit. It's, it's been quite the experience for me, I must say. Finally! You didn't get Gordian Lock, you stupid asshole. This stupid golem was the last thing left. And it got Gordian Lock like five turns in a row. And it's finally dead. Oh. <sighs> Two hours and 27 minutes on the recording, my god. Few games have required this much recording to get an episode out of. The only one I can think of that comes close is Potionomics, but I think Tactics Ogre has a beat. A 30 minute episode can sometimes take like upwards of three hours depending on what I'm doing. Ugh. <sighs> I didn't even get anything cool for that, and I'm definitely not going to the Crumbling Garden. Screw this place, I'm out of here. We got our cutscene with Azelstan. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing else at the other end. We are out of here. I don't even care if the best weapon in the entire game is at that particular spot. I am so done with the Pirate's Graveyard. They can all sit there and rot. Okay, get me into the shop, please. I. I don't even have a lot of money. I- I don't even have a lot of money. I need more money. That's what I really need. Um, so... I need another Damascus sword, I believe. Is what I would probably want. Unless I want to get the upgraded cutlass for our friends. Let's look at, um, let's look at what's the, uh... Not auction. Let's look at what's the... Upgraded, uh... Various upgraded one-handed weapons do. So this one gives you false strike on hit, which would be nice. And the rapier does too. The Korra doesn't have any cool effects like that. So... Hmm. I think what I want to do is just upgrade a cutlass. Buy and upgrade a cutlass for you. So why don't we, uh, why don't we do just that? Let's get you an upgraded cutlass. It even makes sense for you because you are pirates. There we go. So, party... God, and we are out of... everything, basically. Azelstan, get- get your- get your ass up to the front of the party here. You know how hard I worked for you? You're gonna sit up at the front and you're gonna like it. And we're gonna... change everyone's IDs. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so you have the Damascus Sword right now, we're taking Fusils off... and we're putting on double attack. And you are going to be dual-wielding uh, blades, my friend. Enjoy. I can also probably give you some better armor, like like these things. Yeah. Chain leggings, and I could probably get you a better ring off of someone, but for right now, I don't super care. Good day. Okay, let's see if I can scrounge together some cash money so we can uh, get some healing items and stuff. All right, we have some upgrades for the party. So, um, I did make another musket in case I want to turn RSL into a fusilier, which I might at some point. You have your two cutlasses now. I also got you a ring of the horde. So enjoy that. Um, I also got some better armor and stuff for people. I refilled on the healing items and stuff. We have mending salves now instead of uh, the mending seeds. Um, I think that's more effective at this particular point, so... Cool! We've replenished on a few things. This recording is at 2 hours and 30 minutes, and... What do I have to show for it? Not a lot. Not a lot. But we are... getting through some of these things... On the map, damn it. It's taking time, 
but we're getting there. So the next episode will probably be a longer one because hopefully I don't have one of those enormous dungeons to go through again. But I've been recording for two and a half hours and quite frankly, I have to get other things done. So I didn't expect it to be that much longer. I thought I was gonna be able to do another battle this episode or something, but no. <sighs> All right, well, if I think that's long, then God, I'm dreading the Palace of the Dead, so. All right, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn, and I'll see you next time for some more.